Greetings, whiskey folk, and welcome to the official Dram Association unbottling of the Pity Veach 30 year old. A very interesting whiskey for a very special occasion because we are welcoming back our premium Dram Association members to the Strath for an extra special welcome back tasting. Um, as a thank you for sticking with us through the hard times and the rough, uh, we have four incredible whiskies for them, and this is one of them. Uh, yeah, very cool. A 1989 Ghost, our first ever finish in bourbon casks. So for a lot of people, this might well be the first time you've ever heard of this distillery. Um, not a particularly common one by any stretch of the imagination. And it's probably going to be a lot of people's first time trying this, actually. Um, the, the tasting is tomorrow, as of time of recording. It'll be a few days ago by the time this gets uploaded to YouTube, um, March the 20th. Um, yeah, very, very cool. So interesting that it's the first ever time it's been finished in bourbon casks. I, yeah, I wonder if it gives us any information about what it was in before the bourbon casks. I'd love to know that. Um, it is natural cask strength. It is uh, one of 7,056 bottles that were uh, bottled at 50.8 ABV. Interestingly as well, this is a full 750 mil bottle. Often when we get these uh, sort of special limited editions, we get the European ones, which means we get the 700 mil bottles. But uh, this seems to have been specifically bottled for the North American market. And there is, of course, a little bit more information on the back. This elusive 1989 Pity Vague from the last stocks to remain is our first ever finished in First Bill Bourbon Casks. This finely crafted finishing has brought an exotic, rich vanilla sweetness to the light, creamy, fruity aromas and flavors of a Speyside gem. A ghost distillery that worked for only 18 years before falling victim to the industry consolidation in 1993. That's a nice way of putting it, isn't it? Basically, uh, whiskey wasn't popular in the early 90s and a lot of things that's close down. Um, Pity Bay has now vanished. Its dwindling stock is rarely cited today as a shy capercaillie occasionally spotted in the Scottish pine forest. Hmm. Weird parallel to draw. Uh, aromas of sweet oak, delicate ripe fruitness, and dried flowers leak from the glass. This texture is soft and silky. The sweet taste, sorry, yes, the sweet taste rich in notes of vanilla that perfectly match the classic green, creamy, and fruity distillery character. It becomes drying in the development, whilst the smooth, warming finish closes with a final sweet flourish. Cool. Of course, imported by Diageo. Interesting. What's also interesting is that Pity Vic, despite not existing anymore, not only was it, uh, you know, taken out of commission in the early 90s, it was actually completely demolished in the early 2000s. Uh, it just doesn't exist anymore. It has an address, um, but the address is in Edinburgh, which is nowhere near where the original Pity Vic was, um, which was in the heart of Speyside. Uh, Dufton, I believe, I think. Uh, well, that would make sense because this distillery was actually built as a sister distillery to the Dufton Distillery, which I assume is in the town of Dufton. Um, yeah. Very cool. Let's go try it. Interestingly, the three events that we've had for the um, premium members welcome back things that you know, keep having these false starts with all the new waves of different uh, variants of COVID. The first one, after the first wave, uh, we had a Capadonic, which was, of course, the, the closed sister distillery to Glen Grant. Um, then in the uh, in the second wave, after Delta, we had the Brora, uh, the Brora 38, of course, magnificent whiskey, which is, you know, famously the sister distillery, closed distillery of the uh, Klangage. So it's kind of cool that we're now getting the closest to the re of the Dufton. Bit of a wobble on the cap. Uh, yeah, lovely looking bottle. I'll show you guys up there. Lovely. I'm sure there's not any extra information. Uh, actually, there is some extra information. Ah, there's one thing on the bottle that is not on the can, of course. Bottle number, individually bottle number. This is bottle 2950 of 7020. Very cool. Let's crack this one open and see what beauties lie beneath. There's a nice P. Um, 
I, I feel like I've seen a P like this on the top of a bottle before. The Powers, maybe? I think Powers has a P on the top. Uh, always feels slightly naughty opening one of these, you know, incredibly rare never again whiskies because yeah i mean hideve doesn't exist anymore you we can't magically create more casks from this distillery what is available now is all that will ever be available um so we're we're, we're about to drink a little bit of history that can never be repeated all right beautiful court music Let's give you my first impressions. Hmm. Yeah. Strong notes of um, vanilla, absolutely. Uh, I think the, the bourbon cask influence is coming through first and foremost on this one. Um, yeah, what else should I look for according to the can? Creaminess, fruity aromas? I want to say vanilla fudge specifically as well. There is a, there is definitely a sweetness to this vanilla. It's uh, yeah, it has has a fruitiness to the nose. Actually, uh, it's I would say specifically sort of on that stone fruit side of things. It's um, what's what's this? There's a special word for stone fruits. Uh, they're they're droops or something. Uh, yeah, droopacious. Um, apricot, maybe even. Maybe going towards a peach. I wouldn't say overly tropical. I don't, I'm not getting like any sort of zesty pineapple kind of notes on this. A little softer, maybe apples even. Hmm. Cool. But what lies beneath that relatively unassuming nose is an absolutely gorgeous thick old whiskey style this is i almost forgot with it with all the excitement about what the distillery is i almost forgot that this was 30 years old um and that 30 years of aging has given us a really beautiful complex um multi yes but almost leathery um sort of backbone to this whiskey that has been then infused with that sweetness and those fruity notes. Oh yeah. Mm. It's hard, hard to really come up with a character for this whiskey. It's, it's a little bit unknown. You know, it feels familiar, but I don't think, I, I don't think it is, uh, particularly familiar you know it's it's like that uh, like when you think you uh, recognize someone on the street and it's not actually them but like for a brief second you're like oh no oh, no hang on i mean uh, there's a lot less awkwardness uh, awkwardness in this though when that happens in real life it's pretty awkward when it happens in whiskey you still get to enjoy the whiskey it's uh oh that's that is very nice Hmm. It's a familiar face, this one. Despite, I think I've only ever had one whiskey from this distillery in the past. Hmm. But it feels so déjà vu. Maybe, maybe that's the name for this one, the déjà vu dram. Hmm. Well. I'm really looking forward to releasing this at uh, at the uh, at the tasting. If potentially quite a big if, uh, if it doesn't sell out at the tasting, we do actually have five bottles available, which we're releasing to our premium uh, premium members at the tasting. If it doesn't sell out, it will be available online as a premium exclusive to those members who couldn't make it to the tasting. Um, and then if we still have a couple left in a, in a couple of weeks, we'll open it up to uh, the regular membership as well. So yeah, keep an eye on strathliquor.com if you are interested in this delightful little whiskey. Well, we have one more unbottling video, which will be released at the same time as this one. So 
flip across to, uh, to to our other video on our channel for that. But I should also mention, I said we have four whiskies um, at this event. Two of them are so special, I actually needed a special guest to come and present them with me. So we won't be having an unbottling video for those, but there will be two extra special um shorter than usual episodes of Drinking Out Loud with a very special guest coming up to showcase those whiskies to the rest of our members as well. So keep an eye out on the video slash of art. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.